got a little toy for the John Deere. Nothing too crazy, but it's something that will definitely help out around the yard. And it's right here. So this is from Tractor Supply. It's, I'm pretty sure it's just their generic name for their uh, dump carts. Uh, let me start off with saying it is heavy. So if you're trying to load this onto a truck by yourself, be careful because, you, you know, it, it's definitely heavy. Put it that way. Um, for starters, it's very heavy duty from, you know, from what I can tell so far. I, uh, it's metal. That's something that I really liked about it. You know, a lot of these are plastic now, and not, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with plastic, but, you know, I prefer that old school uh, metal that is heavy duty, you know. And here we go. We got our tailgate that everyone complains about. All the reviews I see are the tailgate, the tailgate. The tailgate's not that bad. You know, it. at the end of the day, it's 200 bucks for a pretty huge dump cart honestly it's almost the size of the John Deere if you get like a shot from the side look at this there's the dump cart and there's my GT 245 John Deere and that's not a small John Deere either it's not like a little uh I don't know just a little small John Deere or a mo small mower for that matter yeah I think you all kind of catch my catch my drift um to attach it pretty simple this comes up I don't think it's supposed to just pop out like that. Hmm. Anyway, let's take a look. I did just attach it a little bit ago. I think there was something holding all this together this bottom point to make it where it actually springs um, let me grab a clip I guess we're uh, doing our first little repair whatever you want to call it it's really not a repair in my book but um, let's see if I can use this clip Hold on you too bring you over goes I guess alright so for starters I'll kind of go over some of the little details about it uh, I know that there's a few people that posted videos on these a few years back but uh, I figured I kind of give you all a better perspective of how they are now Here, let me actually grab a a clipper of some sort. Show you all the little uh, thing here. So holds up to 1,200 pounds. I've never tested it out with 1,200 pounds, but I'm assuming it's going to be able to hold up to 1,200. Uh, ideal for yard and landscape projects. Movable tailgate and step on release, which is pretty cool. I'll show you all this. So let's attach it back to the mower. So, down here, a little lever, push back, look at that, and it dumps. What more can you really ask for? We'll bring it back down. Snap it back in place. Here we'll do a uh, so. fuel's fine to me. I mean, it's like some of them, like you lean on them and like already bending, 
It's definitely not like this. This one is definitely way more heavy duty than that. Um, I'll kind of bring you all down here to kind of see how the entire thing is made. Um, yeah, I brought it through the mud already. <laughs> First thing I got to do each time, right? But uh, you can see how the clip works. Um, man, no, there's no complaints with this, though. Um, what else can I really say about it? I don't know. So I'm, I'm getting 10 yards of dirt on Sunday. D decent amount of dirt that I'm getting delivered. I'm hoping that this... I'm going to get some really good video. I have a feeling... And I'll be able to show you all. Uh, I'm actually looking at it right now. I guess someone was getting a little tired over here. On this side with those welds. I get some bumps. That's not water. I mean, overall, though, for 200 bucks, can't complain, right? It's a $200 cart. Uh, and just so you can all... Kind of see the paper here. It's by Groundwork. Let's see if I can get the skew over here. One, three, four, five, four, two, zero. Um, what else is there to really say? I mean, it's a heavy duty little cart and uh, it can hold up to 17 cubic feet, I believe. Cubic inches. I'm so bad with measurements. I remember seeing 17 somewhere on the website and I was like, oh, that sounds like a big number. <laughs> uh, even the wheels themselves, they have ball bearings, so it's not like the little cheap uh, little plastic bushings in them, nothing like that. Uh, these are actually built in uh, on even the paint. And this was outside uh, the entire time. It was at Tractor Supply. I didn't see any rust on the entire thing. Uh, I see some dirt in certain areas, you know, but that's that's about it. Um, let's see, what else? Yeah, and again, what I plan to use it for, it'll be perfect. You know, I'm going to use it to haul wood around, uh, haul soil, mulch when the time comes. Well, time is coming. It's, it's going to happen within the next week or two. And the mower is all tuned up, ready to go. Again, it's very easy to attach. So you just bring it right up to the uh, right up to the mower. It falls right into place. It's as simple as that. I mean, they can't really ask for more out of a little cart. So uh, I want to hear what you all think about them, though. I mean, I saw a lot of the smaller ones had a lot of. Oh, what was one of the biggest problems with the smaller one? I think it's a 10 cubic something, either inches. I don't think it'd be inches, but whatever it was, 10 cubic feet, right? Let's say that's what it was. They were all saying that at the tongue, it actually melted. Not <laughs> melted. Okay. Sorry, I'm so bad with my words. It actually bent by the tongue. So this will be a pretty good test because I'm going to be hauling around a lot of dirt around the yard, right? We're going to have to see how much this thing can truly hold um, and just give it the ultimate little test. And I'm hoping to have this for years to come. And like I said, I was already having some fun with it earlier. I brought my fiance in the cart and we we're kind of just driving around the yard. First, I let her go in the cart. Then I had her drive the mower and I <laughs> went around the yard. Got to have fun with your toys, you know. Uh, let's see what else. Um... You know, I haven't really been able to explore it as much as I thought I was. Hmm. I gotta find out what these holes in the back are for. Because it might be something that I'm not seeing. But yeah, after tax in Maryland, it was $211. Right? It, so it really wasn't breaking the bank or anything like that. And since I did just sell another quad, I was like... You know, <laughs> let me get something for the yard. Let me get something that's going to help me out around here. So, but otherwise, yeah, there she is in all her glory. Uh, I almost 
got a dump bucket for the front of the John Deere. I thought that would have been cool, but when I saw the price tag, it was like $2,000 for a dump bucket. Not right now. <laughs> I almost did it though. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for now, YouTube. Stay tuned. If you have any questions, if you want to see any more of what this, like, like size comparisons or anything like that, feel free to message me or uh, post a comment and I'll get right on it. Stay tuned, YouTube. Diesel Dan Peter signing out for now. Until the next one.